Okay, so by now you have more than likely heard of AI code editors, whether you're using Copilot or something else. Uh, but if you haven't, then I almost guarantee that you've seen this picture and this tweet by Code Frying Pan, aka Pan, flying around about him saying him and his co founder are quitting their jobs to pursue Pair AI, their startup, which is an open source AI code editor. Think a better co-pilot or open source cursor. You've heard this spiel already. And uh, so before I go into AI code editors as a whole, I want to address this. Um, when this was posted, there was a community note that basically said Pair AI is uh, basically just a fork of continue.dev. Uh, continue.dev is an amplified developer's AI enhanced development code editor, which is a fork of VS Code. I hope you keep following. So... Pair AI is a fork of continue.dev, which is a fork off of VS Code. And a lot of people were saying that this was kind of disingenuous, that why are they, why is Y Combinator funding basically a double fork? What have they added? People are accusing them of stealing work, uh, stealing commits. Um, and it, it, I have to admit, it was a really bad look. It did not look good for uh, this announcement. Now, um, there's a really good post here by Pierre Richelson, which kind of gives his take on the whole VS Code Continue Pair AI YC drama. Uh, it gives, you know, he, he was in W19 YC, and uh, he basically said it's a bad look for everyone involved for having kind of a funding. A fork of a fork is next level uncertainty. Uh, to make it in open source, you need strong open source ethics. You're looking to build a community starting day one saying it's ours now is crazy disrespectful. This is in relation to a commit that the pair AI team did when they forked continue.dev and they basically just removed all instances of continue.dev from the code and replaced it with pair AI in a commit. Now, that seems uh, like just a raunchy joke amongst team members, but when you, ke when you keep the entirety of the commit history in true open source fashion and you make an announcement like this that gets this much traction and 7.5 million views, people are gonna see that and uh, people are gonna be rightfully upset. Now, Pan did make a follow-up of him basically explaining everything, how, and basically an apology, uh, saying that, you know, it is a double fork and they should have been more transparent uh, when describing it. Uh, their intentions were never to rip off continue.dev or VS Code. Uh, saying that they screwed up. Another thing was the license. So there's a huge post about the license and a comment that Pan did regarding it. I'm referring to this. So YC backed Starbucks can't be bothered with legal. You can see here, uh, you illegally relicense Pair to an enterprise non-open source license called Pair Enterprise Edition. And then Frying Pan, the co-founder said, dog, I chat GPT the license. Anyone is free to use our app for free, whatever they want. If there's a problem with the license, just let me know. I'll change it. So very bad look. This is this I think is the biggest issue. And Pan did go and tell, and just say, yeah, we we messed up. That's on us. And he continues to say that also adding the fact that they're leaving like a high paying salary may have rubbed people the wrong way. I could see that, but to be honest, I think just the community notes around this post and the sheer feedback they got was uh, pretty crazy. And you can see here, there's a uh, there's a huge threat to open source software, anyone can rip off another open source company. Anyways, so that's a whole, so you can see at a renaming from continued pair AI, it's ours now and Anang is the co-founder. So that's a whole topic that we can go in deeper into. But what really interested me from this whole thread is actually the number of AI code editors that exist now. So I already showed you continue.dev, you are already aware of VS Code with Copilot, and now we're looking at Pair AI, the backed by Y Combinator. Um, but I was curious what else is out there. And I went over to the YCombinator.com and I looked at the fall 2024 and summer 2024 uh, batches. And not only was I surprised with what I saw, but I was extremely shocked to see how many just AI backed companies Y Combinator is investing in. We have Bramble. We have uh, Pair AI, Melty. Melty is the first chat-based code editor. Let's add that in. There is Melty. Melty is an AI code editor where every chat message is a git commit. All right, that's cool. We have AI OS for private practice doctors, the AI customer experience agent, building LLM connectors, the AI healthcare. You get the picture. Everything here is AI-backed, AI-based, AI something. 
And then, you know, just kind of going back to the integrity of this video, I just showed you Melty. There's Cursor, the AI code editor built to make your extraordinarily productive cursor is the best way to code with AI. There's also Void, which is in the same batch uh, that um, Pair AI is in, the open source AI code editor. And then there's Zed. Zed is the next generation code editor designed for high performance collaboration with humans and AI. Now, call me old fashioned, but do we really need to have AI baked into our code editor? Um, there's a really good video here by Web Dev Cody that shows the power behind such a tool. You can see here, there's, there's this problem that's not responsive and he's using cursor and he just gives cursor the prompt, make this page mobile responsive, clicks enter and then look at the magic happening before your eyes. It's literally rewriting the code and giving you acceptance or, de or decline it to make the page responsive. And you can see here, once the AI is done literally rewriting your code, you basically just click accept, you accept it, and now you can see that the page is responsive. Now this may be kind of a baby example, not the craziest one, but I don't know. I really never minded just prompting Chad GPT and then copy and pasting that prompt or verifying it before it's in my actual editor. Uh, for those who don't know, I don't like Copilot. I don't like when there's AI that suggests things for me to input into my code editor. I like control C, control V. Not that much better, but hey, that's just me. And what we're noticing now is I truly think we're going to be entering this era of just so many different code editors that have this AI capability all fighting to be the winner of this crazy race. And don't even get me started on all of these startups just have AI now. Like, can I just build an application, a RESTful application that's not AI, that doesn't have any involvement with AI? Is that just completely out the door? Am I crazy? Like, jesh. You know what I mean? Like, like mm, jesh. Uh, but anyways, this is kind of a quick run. I want to make this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a like. And uh, yeah, I do want to say ahead of everything, good luck to Pan and his uh, co-founder. Uh, I do want to back anyone who's kind of approaching this. Uh, I think they kind of did mess up with their initial delivery, but I think they'll get better and learn from it. And uh, yeah, so uh, good luck. And I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.